still no babies? It's going to take as long to do this small group as it did the whole other group. It is sunny and bright and we got another two inches of snow because it's still winter and according to the forecast even though it's supposed to be in the 40s for the next like five days we're supposed to get snow every single day or rain rain I would take but it means everything is going to be messy and sloppy and just yuck so, yay for winter. I am really ready for spring and summer, especially summer. I know summer has a lot more work that goes into it, but I'm just ready for no more snow. So the goal today is to get everybody out except for, well, she's behind here, but this you and this you that came in yesterday. So let's start with that and then see where we end up. So the nice thing about this group is they already have their RFID tags, so I don't have to re-tag any of the moms. I just have to do babies, which makes it go a lot faster. So moms just get dewormed and vaccinated and then the lambs get vaccinated and um, tagged in their ears. So these six, I think there's six, six or seven, won't take me very much time at all, which is very nice. convoluted the moms tend to run directly for the food and then remember baby didn't follow so it'll take a little bit it'll take a little bit for them to all match up again so that just leaves me this one from yesterday and this one from yesterday so this one is her baby and this is the one we grafted on and they both drank this morning so I call that a win. Hey guys, so I came up here at lunch because I've had people asking, um, you know, how many ewes have we had, how many rams have we had, um, 
what our mortality is and I haven't done any kind of update on that mainly because I haven't had time so I took time today to make sure I got that done so um, I this is all my stillborns all the live births so our total lambs are 281 of those 281 14 lambs were stillborn so that leaves us with 137 ram lambs and 123 ewe lambs. I was kind of hoping there'd be a little more ewe lambs than ram lambs. No such luck. Uh, we had 155 ewes that have lambed so far. Uh, I think I'm, think there's 12, 14. I think there's 14 left. Uh, so 155 ewes and uh, 281 lambs, which brings my average to about 1.81 lambs per ewe. Would I like to be at 200%? Yes, of course I would, but I will take 180%. Um, our goal has always been anything over 150%, so I'm pretty happy with that. I thought there were a lot more stillborns than there were, but uh, thankfully there have not been. So I, I keep, you know, anything that gets done, I have my everything that gets written in here. And it's anybody that has a stillborn, whenever um, a lamb dies, it gets written in here. If a mom dies, it gets written in here. When the lambs are born, um, I think I've done a video on how I keep all my bookwork. But yeah, so it's, uh, it's been a pretty good lambing. Um, a lot better than I actually thought it was. So, haven't had any dead lambs in the big group, which is always a huge, when you get that many moms and babies in an area, you know, you never know if a lamb's gonna get laid on, if it's gonna get lost from mom. Uh, so we've had really good luck this year. And I just keep hoping that we're gonna keep that good luck. But yeah, so that's where we're at as of today, Wednesday, March 8th. I'm not exactly sure what day it is. Um, but yeah, so I, I call that a win. Well, Monday we had no lambs. Yesterday we had two ewes that lambed. And today there's no lambs. What is going on, guys? I was kind of hoping we'd dang near be done by now, but um, apparently not. I guess we're gonna hold out for all 34 days. Some of these bags are huge. Some of these ewes are huge. Their back end is all wiggly. I really expected a bunch, but I think we're down to, I think there's 14 in here and two are not bred because I kind of, while well, they were eating, went and double checked. So um, I guess we'll see. Oh, I think we have success. Mama, are you claiming both of them now? Good mom. Good mom.